So I taste the night supposed to be stable. My name is Terry and welcome to Mass Singer Recap Episode 5. Now, I know it's been a couple weeks since there has been a Mass Singer Recap, but if you saw this video, you would know that the Mass Singer wasn't even on last week because of the MLB playoffs. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't remember what they're called, honestly. I don't really care much about sports. But anyway, we finally, but back to the mass thing. We finally got Group C performances. And honestly, last night was, well, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. Like, not jaw dropping, not as jaw dropping as Group A or B, but still have some heavy hitters. Let's talk about them. Now, Kick off the night. I got my notepad right here. Let's get started. To kick off the night, we had Squiggly Monster. Now, he he made he made he he performed a rendition a, a cover of "Have You Ever Seen the Rain" by Creedence Clearwater Revival. I have honestly never heard of that song. I don't think it sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Honestly, so. But other than that, it was still a good performance. Like, really good, honestly. And I can tell by the voice, my pre-show guess, Weird Al Yankovic is incorrect. So what did I change my guess to? Well, I have to agree with... Oh, who said it? It was either Robin or Jenny who said this. It, I have to guess... I feel my sister in the background. I have to guess, Ray Romano. Now, Ray Romano is kind of comedian. It's kind of a comedian and all that, but he's like a yeah, a comedian. Kind of like Weird Al, but he doesn't make song covers. He's just a stand-up comedian. And given the outfit that Squiggly Monster wore, he had like eight eyes, eight arms. It was way out there, not like any other monster costume they've ever made. But it's still pretty cool. Now. Yeah, and that, and that, yeah, his performance is pretty good. It could have been better, in my opinion, but still a good performance. Next to perform was Mushroom, who kind of pulled a... And I was honestly shocked when I heard the voice. Like, when I heard... I knew... I knew... I, knew, I kind of knew it at first. It was, it's kind of a season two leopard leopard mask moment, where I thought... Where, everyone, where the judges thought, and even... Uh, where the judges thought... The leopard was a female, but no, it was a dude, a.k.a. Seal, the famous singer. But, so yeah, Mushroom, I thought it would be Rachel Ray. What do I feel, stupid? It's a male. It's a freaking male. So, yeah, he performed This Woman's Walk by Maxwell. Never heard of the song, but it was a beautiful rendition. And I'm going to pull a Ken Jong at the moment because... I know exactly who this is. Based on the vocal range of how high the notes were, and one of the clue packages had a giant freaking hat on a hot dog cart. The hat kind of gave it away. I think I'm butchering the spelling here. Pharrell. Now, he, you, you know, the famous singer, who sang Happy and all that. Yeah. I know, I can tell by the voice alone it was Pharrell. And when I saw the big hat, it kind of was a dead giveaway. So, yeah. I know for a fact, hopefully, that Mushroom is Pharrell Williams. So, yeah. I, knew, I, knew, I had a feeling, it would, I have a feeling it's him, honestly. Now. Now we get to... Jellyfish, who performed Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie. And honestly, you could tell she wasn't really nervous because she had to take a, she had to take a deep breath like Ladybug in her, in her debut performance in season two. And it was a really good performance, honestly. Like, I feel like either Mushroom or Jellyfish could be a frontrunner in this competition. But only time will tell. Now, who do I think Je Jellyfish is? 
Well... For the time being, I don't know. The voice sounds eerily familiar, but I just can't put my finger on it. It's just like Snow Elves. I don't know who they are. It's driving me bat crap crazy. So yeah, I got nothing. Can't even figure out the clue package. So yeah, oops, I dropped the marker. My mistake. Um, next was Broccoli, who, given on a costume, I thought was some basketball player. It is not a basketball player. He's like shorter than Nick Cannon, who is like, Nick Cannon's six feet tall. Like, I'm about six feet tall, and I, even I'm taller than Broccoli. And he sounds kind of older and more seasoned, so I don't know. But he performed a, mi a mishmash, like Skeleton in Season 2, of House is Rockin' and Whole Lot of Shaking Going On by Ray Vaughn and Jerry Lee Lewis. Sorry, I had to look at my notes. They're really smushed in together. But anyway, who do I think Broccoli is? I might have to agree with Nicole Scherzinger or as Nick called her last night, Sherlock Scherzinger. I might, it might, I think it was Nicole anyway. Steve Gutenberg. He's, I, I don't know who he is. He's like a, I guess he's like an older actor. I've heard the name from like Good Mythical Morning, but that's about it. When they made that Hanumas tree, Will It Christmas tree. I think that was him anyway. I don't know. I'll look it up and make sure. So yeah. I don't know why Broccoli could be Steve Gutenberg. I I got nothing. This this is a hard group to figure out. Aside from Mushroom, because I pro probably know who he is. And then finally, to wrap up the roster, we have Lips. And who performed Native New Yorker by Odyssey. Now, I'm just going to say it out loud. Her performance sucked. Like, it really sucked. Like, it was so freaking bad. Like, like, and she had this, like, more, and she, she tried pulling a Mariah Carey, like, come on, audience, sing along with me. She tried pulling a Mariah Carey. Don't pull off Mimi lips. Just don't. So, yeah. Wait, did I turn the microphone on? Yeah, I did. It's talking if I made the microphone was on. Sorry. So, who do I think Lips was? Well, my first guess, my first initial guess, based on a, a West Wing clue in the clue package, I don't know why. This is so embarrassing. Michelle Obama. I don't know freaking why. I don't know why, but I just had I just had politics on the mind because I, I guess elect it's a lot of election year and election day is right around the corner. I don't know why former former first lady Michelle Obama popped into my mind so much last night, but it did. But then I heard the voice and I thought to myself, no, that's not Michelle Obama. It's the second guess. Pretty outspoken talk show host, Wendy Williams, was my second guess for lips. So yeah. I dropped it again. So yeah. Now comes to the tough part that the that the audience and judges have to figure out. Who should be unmasked tonight? Now before we continue, I just want to say, if you haven't seen episode 5 of season 4 of The Masked Singer, I click off the video now, watch it, and then come back so you avoid a spoiler. I'll give you, I'll give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go. The mask who got, the person who got unmasked last night was...
Pretty predictable, not gonna lie. So, the question remains, who is Lips? Now, based on their initial guesses when the, when the judges, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna go into the beat of the song or it's copyright, but when they dropped it into the vault slot for their initial guesses, um, I don't remember what Robin Thicke picked at first. I think his initial guess was some actress who was known for wearing red lips, wearing big red lipstick in the 90s. I don't remember her name, honestly. I, I don't care also. But, and Ken, his initial guess... Remember how I mentioned Mariah Carey a few minutes ago? That was Ken's guess. Thankfully, Nicole and Jenny did have stuck with stuck with their initial. But Ken and Ken had not stuck with the original guess. Thank God. And Jenny and Nicole stuck. But yeah, uh, Jenny and Nicole stuck with their initial guesses and guessed along my second half of my. That's my second guess. Wendy Williams. Now, who is the lips mask? I try saying that without getting saying lip smack. Just try. But anyway, who is Lips Mask? You, you might be wondering. Well, it was Wendy Williams, Nicole, Jenny, and myself. We're correct. Well, I was half correct, but, you know. So, yeah. Wendy Williams, the out, the most outspoken TV talk show host, and pretty controversial TV talk show host, I've ever seen, was the Lips Mask. Sadly, it wasn't Kylie Jenner. Or Angelina Jolie. That was my initial guess, by the way. My pre-show guess. So, yeah. And with that, we now have a board full of post-show guesses. Now, next week, they are going to bring back Group C for the playoffs to see no pun intended, who will make it to the, to the Group C finals. I'm really excited for that, honestly. Now, I think that'll do it for this episode of Massinger Recap. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy, eh. I've done this for three freaking, almost four freaking years, and I can't even say my own outro. Let me try again. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. And give the old scrubber the old smizzity smack. And I'll see you for the nights in the next video. Toods.